Welcome back. This is Mike again. And for this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to incorporate Photoshop within your Amari texturing workflow. Now, since uh, Amari 2.0 version has been released, it's a lot easier to transfer information to Photoshop and back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple different ways of doing that and also um, kind of show you how you can deal with an existing project and also a project maybe that was uh, textured within Photoshop and you need to bring it into Mari, you know, to maybe, you know, adjust textures or maybe get textures to a final state. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this first portion of the uh, video, I kind of wanted to go over how to get a simple projection, actually a camera projection, out of Mari into Photoshop so you can kind of edit uh, some of your textures or add things that maybe uh, Mari does not have and Photoshop does. So first off, uh, I went ahead and loaded... Um, my Sherman tank model just kind of to show you guys uh, this and uh, first off I want to kind of go over some of the settings that in and buttons that you're going to have to sit there and deal with now you have quick project front quick project through and then quick unproject and quick projection settings now let's go ahead and click that and as you see here you have your resolution go all the way from 2k to 32 and then you have your color depth, 8, 16, and 32. And then you can have clamp on or off. And then the path is basically where your file is going to reside and also the file name. So since I've already set that up, I want to go ahead and get my camera. Let's say we want to add some little, you know, added texture to the side of the tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit there and uh, just actually uh, export camera projection with my base textures which I have that selected if you don't have something selected and you do a uh, you know export a camera projection it would just be a blank file so you have to have something selected so I just want my base textures because I kind of want to have an idea you know where and what everything is so let's go to camera I'm going to do a quick unproject and generally that only takes a second and we're going to go ahead and jump over to Photoshop and I will open that projection up. And as you see, came in perfectly. So create a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and grab just whatever texture I could find quickly. Okay. And we will just leave it like that. Okay. And let's do overlay. Lower this down a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply a mask to this layer. And then I'll go ahead and paint out what I do not want. Let's go ahead and make the brush bigger. Sorry for the slowdown. It's uh, I'm running entirely too many things at one time. Okay, go ahead and get rid of some of this other. Okay, so let's say that's kind of what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait for it to catch up. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. So what we want to do now is just go ahead and uh, save this file. Okay, and we'll jump back over to Mari. And now, since I don't really want to apply this texture on my existing base texture, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And then we go to Camera. And we do a quick projection, a quick project front. Okay, and now since we have a mask related with this particular layer that's in Photoshop, I just want to actually uh, project this texture data just on the, the main paint layer. So we'll highlight that and hit select. Give it a second, and as you, as you see, it just brought the, just a base texture. So what we want to do is go ahead and add a mask stack. And then... I'll go ahead and delete that layer, create a new one, make sure it's selected, and then I want to go camera, quick project again, 
and I'm gonna, I'm gonna select the mask. Okay, and then we can go back to the layer, kind of do an overlay like I did in Photoshop, bring it back down, and that's it. Okay, now let me go ahead and we'll go ahead and delete what we just created here. And uh, let's say, you know, you really want more flexibility and, and basically export this whole texture, actually export this whole channel. So let me make sure I got the right object. And actually what I want to do, go ahead and let's say I want to work on my, some of my tools back here. Let's see, okay. So I have my uh, particular object selected. And now you can export certain layers or selected layers or actually channels. So for this first uh, part of the tutorial, I'm just gonna kind of show you how to do the, actually the whole channel. So we'll make sure the channel's selected, right click, and then we want to go ahead and export current channel. Give it a second. And I want to export it. Now, keep in mind, this is, this is one thing that you really have to keep in mind here. Now, if you don't change the name and you don't change it to a PSD, it will export every single layer, every single mask as an individual file. Well, obviously we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and change it to a PSD. And then I just want to name it. All right, and we'll just go ahead and export all patches. Give it a second. And you know, generally it doesn't take that long, but it really depends on how many how many layers you have there. So we'll go over to Photoshop and close this one here. Go to open. And well, you know, it did export the layers, but it's kind of hard to read what's what. So let's go back, jump back to uh Mari. Go to layers. We'll go ahead and add a layer. Actually, we'll, I'll, we'll add two. Okay, the first one, I want to show you exactly what to do, kind of get around this. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, select a patch. Make sure the layer selected. And if you go up to patches, fill, you can go ahead and do wireframe. Okay, select layer two, go to patches, fill, the UV mask. Okay, we can deselect that. Go back to ortho. And as you see, you have a wireframe and you have a mask. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, keep those on. Go back to channels, reselect it, export the current channel. We want to keep the name. Okay, hit OK. And give it a second. Okay, jump back to Photoshop. We'll just go ahead and reopen that up. Okay, let me go all the way to the top. Okay, so you have your wireframe there. You got your UV, UV mask there. Now, that's not really useful at this point. But if you just go inverse, new layer, deselect that, fill it with gray, deselect. Well, now you have a much better idea of what, you know, what and where everything is. Also, you have your uh, wireframe. So you can go ahead and let me find something to edit. We'll just go ahead and edit this right here. If it go the right direction. And I want to go ahead and put some text right. Oh, let me see. 
Pat the right button. Okay, let's say that's what we want. So we'll go ahead and rasterize this type here. Save it. And you can do many other things. I'm just kind of showing you just a, you know, just a, the basic part of it. Go back to Mari. And what you want to do is highlight that channel. And what you're going to do this time is you're going to actually import into the layer stack. And what it's going to do is going to give you uh, a UDIM that you have to actually load the file which obviously is that one we just uh, put the text on. And really, I don't want to resize my patches, so generally I resize the images, import the patches, and what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and update it. You can update, and you can also can create new. So it's going to take a second, and let it update. And as you see, The text I created is there. And then from here, you can go ahead and do, you know, your blend modes or whatever. Oh, that didn't work out. Blend modes or whatever that, uh, you know, you would find useful. So you can do this a lot of things. You can do it, you individual layers. I'll go ahead and show you individual layer. Um, let's see. Just go ahead and export this layer. I don't even know what this layer is, but I'll export it anyway. Okay, it's just green. But all you got to do is uh, make sure it's selected. And then go to Export Selected Layer. And this one here, we're just going to basically save it as a TGA. All right, go to Photoshop. We can close this since uh, it's not useful. Open that up. Okay, and let's say we don't want green. Let's say we want, let's say fill color, let's say yellow. Alrighty, save it. And TGA, save there. And I can actually, I don't have to sit there and import it into that particular file, but let's say I want to just import it into a just a, a bare brand new file. All you have to do is import. You can import it actually into a layer or layer stack. But we just want to do that one layer. Take the TGA, import it, and now we have yellow tools. So there's many other things that you can do with this, but that kind of gives you the, the general basic idea of, you know, the freedom that Mari allows you to, uh, to work with Photoshop and uh, transfer information back and forth.